Google Samsung on Android.com where we get yeah. on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, the Ditto Note 4 ROM, which turns uh, essentially your Note 2 into a Note 4. Uh, this ROM is also really cool because uh, it is running a custom kernel with overclocking. Um, it is only available right now for the GTN 7100 model. That's the international model with Exynos processor instead of the Qualcomm. Uh, but it should be ported to everybody else, including AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, also GTN 7105, Canadian, soon. Uh, but let me g give you a first hands-on look of the Ditto Note 4 ROM. And uh, let's go take a look. Let's go do this, baby. Hi, folks. So here is Ditto Note 4 ROM. Um, you will also get the latest Android 4.4.4. As you can see, it's an actual, uh, it, it is a real um, Note 4 ROM ported to the GTN 7100. Um, also, it does come with Acne Kernel, which supports overclocking. Um, so without overclocking, it's a little bit laggy. Uh, but do make sure you turn on um, overclocking. Here we go. And to turn on overclocking, it's pretty simple to do. And uh, let me actually clean the screen real quick. It's kind of dirty. All right, as you can see um, in the Agni control, uh, go into CPU max frequency. And uh, you can actually overclock up to two gigahertz, but I don't recommend that high. 1.92 should be plenty. Um, this will use slightly more uh, battery life. Also, you can uh, undervolt your CPU. Um, you can try, I've safely done it up to negative uh, 20 millivolts. That will actually undervolt while overclocking. So you'll get the maximum um, overclocking out of it while also saving some battery life. Um, so you end up with something, you know, it will still use more battery life than a uh, stock, uh, but uh, you will actually get more battery life even with overclocking than a Note 4 uh, because the Note 4 actually uh, is a battery hog. Uh, the display, the quad HD display on my Note 4, um, just the battery doesn't last as long as uh, Note 3 or Note 2. Um, so here it is. So here's my Note 4 and here's my Note 2. Uh, the Hello Kitty Cafe, it's not my game. Uh, my daughter installed a bunch of games. Um, if she forgets to bring her phone to the restaurant. So let's take a look at the lock screen. And boom shakalaka, you got the exact same lock screen. Uh, this is exactly uh, you'll, what you'll see on the Note 4. And let's actually look at the performance here. And you can see it's literally um, same as far as just the launcher itself. And uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the features of it. If you go into settings, you'll also notice the settings is exactly uh, like a Note 4, of course. All right, um, so something missing with the GTN 7100. It doesn't have a uh, download booster. Obviously, that's only for 4G LTE enabled phones. And also, um, you, do, you, you do have multi-window, of course, uh, from the Note 4. Um, lock screen, you can go ahead and change uh, to various different lock screens. Oops unlock effect there we go popping colors um, it, it should be exactly the same the abstract tiles may force close so just don't use that otherwise um, you can use all of them actually it has more than my note uh, 4 as you can see a um, couple more features so maybe even better than a note 4 because this is a custom ROM uh, fingerprint scanner is missing of course and Let's go take a look at some of the other stuff. Uh, private mode, you can also enable. Uh, that is for saving, uh, not saving, for hiding all of your private stuff that you don't want people to see. Ultra power saving uh, mode is on there. All right, and let's take a look at the S Pen here. So exact same one as the Note 4. Uh, of course, there is no S Pen windows. I wonder if this will work. Yeah, this should work just fine. Ah. Let's take it out. Here we go. And you'll see the exact same one. So this is great. You know, one of the things that I like about Samsung um, is that all of their firmwares are publicly released uh, via through their keys program. 
and uh, it makes it easy for developers to easily port all the new software features. Um, you will find everything with the Note 4, uh, including the multi-window. Let's actually check that out. Oh, the multi-window is really cool. Uh, this is only available for the Note 4 at the moment, but if you have this ROM, ah. All right, I, I'm still not getting the hang of it for some reason. Basically, you want to go across, and I'm just failing. There we go. All right, so multi-window working just great, and you can open up multi, uh, multiple windows. <sighs> My god. Um, just You're supposed to be able to do it from the corner. I'm not sure. There we go. There we go. I'm just failing. I'm still not used to the Note 4. I mean, the Note 4, that's not a lag or anything. It's the same thing. I, I do the same thing. And see? I think there is a trick to it. Just, ah, it's hard to do. Um, some of you will enlighten me. Uh, there we go. So you have multi, the new multi-window, along with everything else, all the apps, music player, video player, uh, internet browser, actually I don't really use it. And now you, can, you see all these multi-windows, they become smaller and you can reopen them. Um, so really cool stuff. Uh, performance is actually pretty fast once you got the overclocking, uh, very nice. And yeah, just definitely try it. You know, you get all of these software features from the Note 4 on your Note 2. Working near flawless, so definitely check it out for this week's, around the week for GTN 7100. And yes, it does come with root. All custom ROMs come with root. Go ahead and enjoy it. Um, do let me know what you think. But if you have a GTN 7100, you're going to love it. Also, um, Radio FM app doesn't work correctly. Also, there is Bluetooth audio problem. Other than that, there is no problem. Um, so nearly flawless. And also, don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM, uh, XDA user Arsa and the Electron team. Uh, thanks for bringing some awesome ROMs. And yeah, that's it. Looking pretty good. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, this ROM is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, literally turns your Note 2 into Note 4. Uh, all the software features, uh, maybe not you know hardware features like the heart monitor. But looking pretty good. If you have a GTN 7100, definitely check it out for this week's ROM week. Uh, if you don't have a GTN 7100, it will be available for you. So stop asking and uh, just be patient. And as always, I'll stay. Yeah. On Android.